Hi guys, welcome to Free To Be Fit. For today's special, we will be doing Free To Be Fit crab cakes. Um, if you don't know, we're making our we made our own Free To Be Fit um, seafood spice blend. And if you go to my site www.sfe.com, you will be able to find it. It's so low sodium, absolutely delicious. For so for every one of us who likes the old bay, it's a great alternative. For today, you will need some fresh crab meat. About 16 ounces. You can use 10. How many you you know? How many you have? I gotta leave some for the kiddies. So pull it out into the bowl. All the details of all the of the recipe will also be posted on my site. And of course, don't forget to sign up to free to be fit pop nutrition tips and 90 day pilot yoga challenge to meet all your fitness and health demands. So we got the crab meat. What you want is you want to take a fork and spread it down so you don't have big chunks. Just keep mushing it together so you don't have the long, big lumpy pieces. Today, instead of creme fraiche, I'm using a creamy cheese. It's a Greek yogurt. And this is a Trader Joe's brand, but I'm sure you can find anything in any of the local stores as long as goat cheese I'm substituting because it's easier on my digestive system. It's a great alternative Greek um, uh, cheese yogurt, um, milk and kefir, great probiotics and deliver it to your tummy. Here you go. So I'm taking two tablespoons of that, folding it into the crab meat. If you don't have any uh, cream, um, you can use, substitute it for yogurt. Just maybe a little bit less, so you'll have to uh, um, put in more of the, um, not the breadcrumbs. I'm actually doing it with couscous and almond meal. Or if you're using breadcrumbs, you can go ahead. But today's is kind of a um, free beefy take on crab cakes, of course. If you've seen, um, subscribes to my channel you can see that this is not your regular crab cakes or meals fresh good okay from here what we'll do we'll fold about a cup chopped cilantro give or take cilantro gives great taste lots of antioxidants and color look at this nice after that take three eggs. Some people say you can separate the egg and the yolk. I just put three eggs because I have 16 ounces. So if you got 10, you can do one full egg and an egg yolk. Mix it in. To make couscous, so I'm using cooked couscous instead of breadcrumbs in the crab cakes. Um, if you go to www.sfe.com, I have a great recipe for couscous. It's fast, it takes three minutes to make, maybe five, along with putting it into microwave and maybe chopping some cilantro. It's really fast, it's nutritious, and it's a great alternative to big boredom. So we will use our Free Fit All Base Seasoning. Liberally, just how much you want. Also garlic powder. I know there is usually there is garlic in other items, but just something I like. And white pepper. I just want those ingredients a little more because they're even though they're present in the seasoning, I like them to stand out. So mix it in well. You have to try it. It's good, and you're not gonna die from fresh eggs. I know it's silly. But I, when I was a kid, I used to eat fresh eggs mixed in with bread and a little bit of salt for breakfast. It's delicious. It's full of protein. Who can, um, who can beat that? Okay, now let's take the um, couscous. This is a little too much. Mm, so good. But roughly a cup. If you're using breadcrumbs, it's going to be a cup. One cup. And also, what I really wanted to do is... Um, so what I really kind of wanted to do is use coconut flakes on the outside so when I um, broil them, it can crisp and I think cucum um, coconut will add a nice flavor but 
I was run out of coconut flakes. So couscous works just as well. Put in the couscous, mix it in. I think I need a little bit more. So it's a cup and a half if you're using 16 ounces. Mix it well. At this point I can actually eat it just like that. So good. Um, half a lemon juice. Always refreshing palate for seafood. A tidbit of olive oil, about a tablespoon. And um, I'm gonna use fresh garlic. I use a lot of garlic and onion in my food. The interesting thing is I never used to like them. However, after going, um, modifying my nutrition to where I eat mostly whole foods and um, eliminate processed ingredients, I realized that my palate, after a while, cleaned up and really was kind of looking forward to new, um, to new experiences. And um, I, I'm experienced, I'm now using a lot of garlic and onions and oil and basil and all those wonderful spices that are also very healthy for you. Give me one second. So take a garlic glove or two, depending how much garlic you want. Squeeze it in. Garlic has a great kick and really good for you, especially in those cold months. I know now it's hot so I shouldn't be saying it, but the temperature drop from the inside to outside, a lot of people get sick. Let me try this. This is awesome. I'm going to stop trying because otherwise I'm going to keep eating. Um, at this point you want to use some ceram wrap and go ahead and cover it up. In the meantime we're going to do some homemade mayo and um, coleslaw. So this will be kind of a well-rounded meal. You'll get the crab cake, broiled crab cakes with um, coleslaw and then just a little bit of mixed green on the side. It's going to be really nice. Now that we have the coleslaw and the Russian mayo, sassy mayo, our, um, we gave a chance for the crab cake to absorb the flavor. Just send it for a little bit, 15 minutes while we're making all the stuff. And also all the extra moisture is out. At this point, we'll take almond milk. Place it just a little bit so it doesn't drench. Take some of the crab meat, about a handful, and shape the crab cakes. Put it over on the almond meal, turn it around, flatten it out, and this is our crab, crab cake. Um, give me one second. Yep. Here we go. What you want is you want to preheat the oven to about 360 degrees. Take um, an oven pan, like a cookie sheet. Grab a foil. Of course, you can pay fry them just as well. So we got our crab cakes, and we'll place them on the cookie sheet and repeat. I'm going to repeat quite a few times because I have, I made a lot of them, which is good, will be good for tomorrow's meal. I add only a little bit of the crumb mixture at a time because if I use too much and it will be left over, you can't really reuse it. So you'll just use a little bit of time and add on and you don't have to waste anything. Keep on doing until you're done. Now that we got all the crab cakes set up, so as you see from 16 ounces I got 9 really good sized pretty fat crab cakes. We'll put it in the oven and cook it for about 10 minutes, then we'll flip around so that the other side will brown up. 